The official trailer for season 17 was just released, and we're taking a close look at it to break it all down for you guys. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. If you're one of our subscribers, I want to thank you for checking out this video. If you're new here, I need to let you know that we love dropping great tips, top 10s, and highlights on our channel. Join the top viral crew by hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications by clicking or tapping that bell. Make sure to give this video a like and share it with your friends. I'm Taylor from Top Viral Gaming and now, let's get into the video. Psyonix and Rocket League just released the newest trailer for Season 17 and we've been waiting with much anticipation for this. We've been speculating for weeks about what we might see in the new season. Aside from some tweeted leaks and a few graphics here and there, we didn't have much to go on. Well, now we finally have our first real look at what's to come. In today's video, we're taking a deep dive into the Rocket League Season 17 trailer and breaking it all down in case you missed any details. Let's get to it, shall we? The trailer opens with the arcade machine we've seen for about a week now, but this time it's active and ready to go. We're sucked into the arcade game, and this clearly means we're getting an arcade theme for Season 17. We speculated this from the leaks, and the trailer confirms it right away. We'll see this theme throughout the trailer. From there, we are transported to the new Neo Tokyo Arena. I kind of like this new version because it's not as dark, and I honestly prefer the grass-style playing field. Something to note here is the music and the glitching game sounds. This feels like video game inception. We're getting a video game inside a video game theme. It's different, but it looks like fun so far. Then, boom, right away, we're hit with the new Shakunin car. The screen reads, get a high score with Shakunin so that could be one of the challenges for this season. The car itself looks pretty cool. I think it looks like a cross between the Dominus and Fennec. According to the official press release for Season 17, this vehicle will have the Octane hitbox. We also see a nice textile decal on the car, and there will be more of this throughout the trailer. What do you guys think of the new car? Let us know if you're feeling it by hitting that like button. Comment down below if you were expecting more, or if this satisfies your appetite. We want to hear from you. One thing I want to mention, which you won't hear in the video, is the song playing in the background of the trailer. It repeatedly says, don't pause, press play, which ties into the mystery sentence we've seen at the bottom of our screens for a few days now. The whole press play thing connects to what we're about to see next. We're sucked out of this game mode and brought back to the main screen. There, we see the following game modes, one versus one duel, two versus two doubles, 3 vs 3 standard, free play, and now the new game mode, online free play. We select online free play and jump right into this new mode. The online press release from Psyonix gives us a lot of information about this new game mode. It reads as follows. Looking to hone your skills between high octane matches or just have fun with friends? Drift into the all new online free play, the best place to perfect your air dribbles and ceiling shots with other players. You can create an online free play session directly from the main menu, post-match screen, or while searching for a game. Party leaders can create sessions, or you can start your own practice pitch. There's a ton of ways to customize the experience too. The soccer, hoops, snow day, and drop shot game modes are accessible, along with all the arenas already available in offline free play. There are also boost options and goal reset settings to play around with. Before we jump back to the trailer, we also learned about another game mode coming to Season 17 through the press release. It's called Free Play Party LTE. In this mode, players will be able to practice and complete two challenges to unlock something called the Power of Friendship title. Hmm, okay. Maybe a cooler name would have been nice, but let's roll with it. This will also come alongside the black DC wheels. Oh man, looks like trading might not be returning to Rocket League since these wheels were so sought after and expensive. Just giving them away for free is sure to upset some serious collectors. But let's not focus on that. Let's get back to what you're here for. The trailer. We instantly see the Shokunin car alongside an Octane, both with matching white and red decals. Again, it's very retro video game-like, and we can even see a joystick topper on the Octane. There's a moment where the Shokunin goes into slow-mo in the air, and we notice some really cool new wheels. The whole look of this car is just, wow, it looks amazing. We get a very impressive play that leads to a goal, and we see our first preview of a new goal explosion. 
For just a second, we see retro countdown numbers appear on the screen. It's a small tease, but from what we see, it looks pretty cool. Next, we get our first look at the Season 17 Rocket Pass called Level Up. We see a blue, orange, and black decal on a Shokunin, officially the third look at this car in the trailer. Then we swing to a pink, white, and blue decal on a Dominus, followed by a blue, orange, and black Fennec with a glass-shattering decal. After that, we see a dark navy octane with a joystick topper, and finally, we get a glimpse of the new Shokunin GXT car, which has such a nice-looking decal and set of wheels. Again, wow, another really impressive piece coming to the Season 17 Rocket Pass. We select this car, and we're off! We get a quick look at the new boost that's coming out, followed by a nice play to an octane that scores a goal, and we get bubbles! Yes, bubbles! But they are pixelated and very arcade-looking, which fits the theme. Not bad! Before we go on, we want to thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click or tap that bell to get notified about our latest videos. Also, hit that like button. This lets us know that you want to see more content just like this. From here, we get booted out of this game mode and return to the home screen, where we see our last two options, tutorials and split shot. What the heck is split shot? Well, we're about to find out because we jump right back into the arcade machine and are taken to some pretty cool visuals. What is that in the middle of the field? Is that a volleyball net? Do we explode when we touch that? Let's take a closer look. Okay, so we see a Fennec and Octane about to go head to head, and the Fennec crosses over to the opponent's side of the field. As soon as it touches the ground, it vanishes. All right, so this means we'll have to get creative during this game mode, doing some aerial dribbling or ceiling shots to score goals from our own side of the arena, charging into the opponent's side through the air. That should be fun. I'm excited to try it out. It looks like Frosty Fest is returning since we're in December, and it's winter. Pretty cool. We get some different outdoor arenas here that look pretty sweet with ice and snow. We see the new Neo Tokyo Arcade, DFH Stadium, Manfield, Beckwith Park, and Utopia Coliseum. It definitely fits the current vibes. Psyonix has said these will be available from December 10th to the 17th. I like how Psyonix is showing us the mix-up of different things to come during this one shot of the trailer. This leads us to our next goal explosion, which looks like a butterfly of some sort. Does anyone know what that is? Let us know in the comments down below. Finally, we get a nice shot of the Shokunin driving upfield alongside two other vehicles with some pretty nice decals. This last shot gives us a good look at some boosts and some sweet looking wheels. The Shokunin here is showing off the new Mechmania decal in black, blue, and purple. This looks awesome. We saw this in a photo on Rocket League's official site paired with the boost shown in this trailer, which is called the Synth Pop Trail. The trailer ends with the arcade machine again, and the release date of December 4th, which we've kind of known for some time now. We're almost there, less than a week until the new season arrives. We thought the trailer was over, but we spotted something really cool. At the bottom left of the arcade screen, we see Psyonix 2077, which has to be a hint at a tie-in with Cyberpunk 2077. That's going to be huge, and we can't wait! Did we miss anything in the trailer? Did you spot any other Easter eggs? Let us know in the comments below! I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm going to get out of here, but before I do, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click or tap that bell to get notified about our latest videos. Check out our other videos, and don't forget to hit that like button! This lets us know that you want to see more content just like this. I'll catch you guys later!